Good morning and welcome to um, In Spiritual Journey. Uh, my name is Jenny and I got some uh, a little advice for you today. So I'm going to start off with a, an African proverb and it says, smooth seas does not make skillful sailors. So if you can guess what this topic is going to be about, it's challenges. You guessed it if you said that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start off with some um, steps for um, overcoming challenges. So the steps for overcoming challenges, you know, challenges are all about, we all face challenges, you know, it's, we're not going to get away with it from it. You know, everybody goes through that. So we're going to go ahead and touch base with this. The four steps for overcoming challenges. The first one is accepting it and letting go. Um, by accepting it, you allow yourself to let go of that fear and anxiety and stress around it. Um, you know, like I said, we all go through challenges and you know, if you're fighting against it or, or trying to deny it or sitting in that fear, it's just gonna overwhelm you. So, you know, kind of just like, it's like going with the flow, accepting and, and, and letting it go. The second thing we need to do is observe and decide. So we have to take a step back and really look at the situation, observe it. Um, yeah, it's good to feel those emotions, but we can't stay in those because that is going to affect how we react. So we have to, you know, control our emotions and then we have to observe it like a bystander and figure out like if, what advice would we give to our friend that was going through the same thing. Have you ever noticed it's always easier to look at something else instead of ourselves? So this is actually observing it and then deciding which steps to take or what's the best action or why are you feeling this way? Why are you um, sitting in this anxiety and fear for that challenge, okay? The third thing you need to do is face the fears and act. So again, that's that step, like facing those fears. You know, you can look at it from a point of view of yourself and being overwhelmed with that stress and anxiety, or you can take a step back and look at it from a different perspective, like you would a friend. And then once we decide why we are in that uh, anxiety, stress, fear, then we have to face that fear and act. So we have to push past those fears and do the action. The four, fourth thing we have to do is practice gratitude. And um, I think I did a short, I don't know if I posted it yet, but there is, um, you know, we should practice gratitude for every day. And the hardest time, the challenging time to face, put up with gratitude, have gratitude is during those challenging times. But this is something that must be done. You have to have that gratitude because all challenges are helping us grow, to gain wisdom, to learn lessons. So you have to have that gratitude. Okay, so then we're going to go ahead and get into 10 ways where you can deal with these challenges or overcome these challenges. Okay, so let me get my paper out because I wrote them down here. Okay, so these are the 10 ways. The first one is knowing you're not alone. So it can be more overwhelming and isolating if we feel like we're the only one facing a situation. And it's easy to do when we're in a situation because we can't see other people's perspective. But if we realize that everybody goes through challenges and some are worse than what we're going through, you know, um, that again is being that having that gratitude because some people are going through some really awful, tremendous, devastating challenges and, and traumas and things. So to realize, you know, that we um, are not alone, you know, and I'm not trying to minim minimize anybody's challenges, but sometimes we um, take it a little overboard. Um, so this is actually knowing also as well that you are not alone, what you're going through, other people are there to, that are, have been through it or have gone through it as well. Um, so that makes you feel not as isolated or alone. Second is feel your feelings. It's okay to feel those feelings of fear and anxiety and stress and sadness. Um, you do, you you know, you do want to process them through, but of course, you never want to stay there for long periods of time, right? So then we, then the third one is ask for help. If there's, you know, don't be ashamed if you're going through a challenge. Every, like I said, everybody does it, and there's people that you could reach out to that could help you through the situation. So do no, don't be ashamed and and think you're weak or anything like that to ask for help. Every, everybody needs help at one point in their life. And then with this asking for help, or even if it, you don't ask for it and people are offering support, accept the support. You know, if, you know, um, like I said, there's a lot of help out there and we don't realize that some people might give us some, some information or some guidance that will be very beneficial to us that we might not have seen and really bring a lot of clarity, right? 
Then we have help others. So if, again, this is that getting out of yourself and helping other people that again will make you realize maybe your challenge isn't as, as, as bad as you thought. And also when we give to, back to others, it boosts our um, uh, confidence and, uh, and that feeling of uh, good that we feel for helping others. So sometimes when we get ourselves out of our challenges and situations or problems and help others, it takes us away, uh, takes us away from that distraction, that fear, that anxiety, and we can give back to others and feel good about ourselves as well as, you know, just helping out another person or the planet in general. <clears throat> Six, positive mindset. This can be difficult, but, you know, if you look at things from a different perspective and see the good in all the situations and bring it back this positive mindset, it also will, you know, raise the vibration. It will get you out of that negative thought process and, you know, also those fears and anxieties and stuff. If we start thinking positive and think, you know, this is this sh too shall pass. You know, it's just a cycle. Everything goes up and down like that roller coaster or the waves, and it will pass. So you have to stay positive, um, have that positive mindset. Then we have make a plan. So make a plan. And this might be a time when you have to let go of some of those anxieties and stresses and, and fears. Um, I mean, you can still do it with that, but like if you're sitting in that, that might be hard to get through. But making a plan, you know, and also like in the future when you face challenges, have a plan to know like, okay, if I face this challenge, this is what I'm going to do. You know, I'm going to take a step back. I'm going to do some meditation. I'm going to do some grounding. I'm going to process those emotions out. I'm going to look for support, ask for support, maybe Google it and find out some information about it, but I'm going to get through it. I'm going to connect with my um, whatever I believe in the higher power is. I'm, I'm going to whatever, whatever kind of way, and then make a plan of like, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this step. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. So have a plan ready. Then we're going to think big, you know, don't put yourself in that small space. When we get into challenges and fears, we can make ourselves feel small. Uh, again, being alone or whatever. Um, this is thinking big. Look at different op, op, um, uh, uh, Look at big, bigger uh, objectives to see, you know, where we can get out of that. Um, you know, you don't want to put yourself in a box. Step out of the box, think of different things, and think big, okay? Then we want to work smart, not hard. You know, you don't have to go round and round in circles and, like, you know, make things harder than what they are. Sometimes the smallest thing can change it, change something. So, you know, work um, smarter, not harder. So, you know, don't put yourself through, through, through all that challenges, like you're really, you know, like making it so hard. Just like think the smart way through. So that again, that might be uh, connected to all these, making a plan, asking for help, whatever it is, you know. Um, so, you know, even just like I said, touch base with whatever your higher power is and ask for guidance, whatever it is. But do it smarter, not harder. Don't make it harder on yourself. And then the last one is don't give up. You know, never give up. Things always go back and forth. There's always cycles. There's always waves. Things are good for a while, but they're never going to stay there and they're going to come down. But then they're not going to stay there either, thankfully, and they're going to go back up. So, you know, always stay um positive or try to stay positive never never give up okay there's always a tomorrow there's always things are always shifting and changing and you know the way you handle this challenge is going to make a big difference so that is your message today thanks so much for watching i appreciate it and i hope this gave you a little bit of um guidance or help to get through your next challenge like i said that's something we can't escape <laughs> and you know you want to be that skilled sailor so you know I wish you the best, and thanks so much for watching and the support. Take care. Bye.